All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel here for the latest SUV news segment of the channel. So we're gonna talk about the 2024 Chevrolet Track. Um, this is gonna be a very interesting news coming out of here from uh, General Motors. And uh, again, if you haven't already hit the like button, smash that like button uh, so we can help the algorithm and the channel, please. It would be greatly appreciated. So here's something that's very interesting about this news. Now, the 2024 Chevrolet Track is going to come out uh, in the spring of 2023. And it's actually going to be $1,400 cheaper than the replacement of the 2022 model year track. Very interesting. So the second generation is going to have a starting price of $21,495, which is 6% uh, cheaper when it goes on sale in the spring of 2023, uh, repaired to the original first generation track. So I think that is very, very cool indeed. Um, how many times have we ever heard tell of a car manufacturer actually selling their second generation model cheaper than the first generation starting price? Pretty cool. Uh, the Chevrolet tracks team about the inflation. And they'll tell you how their new baby has ballooned into a bigger subcompact SUV. And as you, as you can tell by the, the photos here on the video, it actually is very nice indeed. They've actually made this vehicle a look a lot more bolder and more aggressive for being a track. The 2024 model measures 11 inches longer also, and it's gonna be two inches wider with a roof line that's four inches lower than the ongoing car, is what they're saying. The design transformation that results is radical. The current track has the proportions of a dupling and a generic look that screams rental car. But the new one with styling cues inspired by the Chevrolet Blazer, of course, look athletic and fresh. The growth spurt does wonders for utility too. Uh, six inch wheelbase stretch adds three inches of rear seat leg room and cargo capacity swells from 18.7 to 25 cubic feet. So they really, um, made this vehicle quite bigger for the second generation track. Um, Chevy's also saying that selling more cars for less money, surely there has to be a catch, right? Well, the answer to that question hides under the hood where the track trades is 155 horsepower turbocharged inline four for a turbocharged 1.2 liter three cylinder engine that makes 137 horsepower, folks. So it's not going to have an, it's not going to have 155 horsepower. It's going to be reduced down to 137 horsepower and 600 foot pounds of torque. But here's what they're saying: the 2024 model six speed automatic saves weight and cost compared to the nine speed automatic and continuously variable transmission that were previously offered. All wheel drive is also no longer available. Uh, all 2024 models will be front wheel drive. Front drivers in this segment aren't exactly rare, is what they're saying. Uh, so look no further than the Nissan Kicks, Hyundai Venue, and the Kia Soul. So don't go jumping in conclusions here, folks, because they're saying here with the power cut, even though there is a deduction in the horsepower, they are saying here that this vehicle will have a zero to 60 mile per hour time and it improves by a full second. So um, goes to show you right there, you don't need the horsepower to get you to zero to 60 uh, quicker. Uh, they're also saying the old version earned a 24 mile per gallon city, estimated fuel economy with 32 mile per gallon highway and we and they're saying here they expect the city number to jump several ticks so um standard active noise cancellation should also help tame any vi bad vibes from this three-cylinder engine so what they're saying here is 
going to have more miles per gallon city because you know where you are going from a four cylinder down to a three uh, when it comes to the uh, some of the interior of the vehicle the tracks low entry price doesn't come without a few sacrifices of course uh, the base model wears uh, steel wheels and unheated exterior mirrors although it does include the all-important 8.0 inch infotainment touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability Every track also comes with automatic emergency braking, automatic high beams, and lane keeping assistance as well. So yeah, it's gonna have a real nice infotainment system here uh, with the touchscreen and everything added to the track, as you can see from the, from the photos here. Spend a little more cheddar is what they're saying, Chevrolet, and they will throw in more amenities without eroding the value proposition. Remote start is standard. That's nice. Remote start is standard on every track above the base model, of course. Heated seats, which are optional on LS and the LT trims, come standard along with heated steering wheel on the 1RS, the 2RS, and active models, of course. The infotainment screen grows to 11 inches and is joined by an 8-inch digital instrument cluster. So if you're getting the RS models and the active models, you're going to have an upgrade there of 11 inch for the infotainment uh, and the 8 inch digital cluster, which replaces the analog gauges in the LT, the 2RS and active trim. So those models are also equipped with automatic climate control, push button start and rear seat and USB ports, wireless phone charging, of course adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, rear parking sensors, a sunroof, and a power driver's seat are available either as options or as a standard equipment on higher trims. So yeah, um, they're also saying the track starts above the $1,200 above that of the smaller Hyundai Venue and within a couple hundred dollars of the Nissan Kicks. So, it's priced uh, pretty good here. It's positioned more than 2,000 below the Toyota Corolla Cross and nearly 5,000 under the unexpectedly uh, expensive new Honda HRV. Well, you know, the Honda is going to be, you know, always up there in price uh, because, you know, I, I do think that the Honda uh, brand does have that. Uh, way of you know saying to their customers that you know you when you drive the Honda you know you're going to be you know if you treat it well the, the resale value is really really good for a Honda so I think that's one of the reasons I personally think that they they charge a lot more up front for a Honda um, maybe I'm wrong but they do have a really strong resale price but you know, the North American brands are really coming up here with their quality as well. Um, they're also saying Chevy's five trim tracks lineup includes RS models with unique grille and black badging and an active model with a monochromatic motive is what they're saying. 2024 Chevrolet Track LX is going to start at $21,495 that the 1RS it's going to start at $23,195. The LT model, $23,395, so it's an extra $200 more. The Trax 2RS, $24,995. And the Trax Active is going to be at $24,995. Um, the track will also compete with the similar size, similarly styled, Chevrolet Trailblazer. Um, so yeah, so they're also saying the Trailblazer really has a starting price of twenty three thousand two hundred ninety five. is slightly more expensive, but it also offers all wheel drive as an option. So again, you know, if you want all wheel drive, you're going to have to go with the Trailblazer. And they're saying here as with as with something very rarely for the twenty twenty two. Here's something new for the SUV that will cost less in the future. 
that what you pay for today we're going to send it with something you probably never before heard let's give it up for gm's bean counters seriously the general's accountants have rightly been polarized in the past for making the bad kind of cheap cars with cuts to all wrong features and design choices but between twenty six thousand five hundred and ninety five dollar bolt evs the roughly thirty thousand equinox ev and the 2024 tracks it looks like chevrolet in my opinion may be kicking off a streak of making the good kind of cheap cars affordable vehicles that don't cut corners when it matters and and i do like what they're doing here especially with the chevrolet equinox you're going to be able to buy an ev suv for thirty thousand dollars i mean pretty 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 you know nice to be able to walk into a store into a general motor store and buy an electric vehicle for thirty thousand dollars i mean you know i knew the prices would come down sometime but not this quick personally because um yeah thirty thousand dollars for an ev yeah it's i think that's going to be very very good for for general motors okay um what i would suggest is you know whenever you get a chance to see one of these new vehicles these new 2024 chevrolet track it's going to be in the spring of 2023 you know, if you're looking for an SUV and a, you're looking for a price point and you're looking for something that's going to be pretty good on fuel economy. And if you don't want an EV and you still want to stay with the gas combustible engines, well, this one here is something that you should really take a look at because also the new style of this is really nice for sure. Uh, it's got that bold and aggressive look to it. I kind of like the front because it kind of reminds me of a blazer in the front and the back. It's kind of gets, it has that, that, uh, you know, that, that import look of some of the SUVs that are coming, you know, from the other manufacturers. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's got some potential here to really do well, uh, in this uh, segment for sure. So again, that is the video. Be safe wherever you are in the interwebs. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.